This is a WZ-8C controller. This is the controller with a remote head. This controller can be mounted um, in any direction you would like, horizontal, vertically, upside down, it doesn't matter. As long as the hub is protected from any water penetration. This is the remote head for this, for this controller. It has a sensor grid and a heater built into it. Major components for this controller is the moisture grid, which I just showed you, the temperature sensor, the standby automatic manual mode switch, the activated power on indicator on the external on the box. Removing the cover, it's fairly easy on this device. Just remove the four screws, being careful not to strip the threads in the brass. Again, the internals on this box is very similar to the WZ2 that we've already shown you. When a snow controller is in the automatic mode, once snow becomes present on the moisture grid and if the temperature is below 39 degrees, the relay in this controller will turn on and turn on your snow system. Once the sensor plate dries, you go into after run delay. Once the after run delay is satisfied, the snow switch turns itself off, turning off your snow control system and resets itself to automatic for the next snowfall. Okay, the major components on the inside that you need to worry about are the temperature set point, the after run delay set point, and a sensitivity set point. The temperature set point is set at the factory at 39 de degrees. If the sensor comes on too often, it can be adjusted lower. If it comes on not enough, you can adjust it a little higher. The after run delay is the delay that this system is held on until the pavement is dry after the moisture sensor is completely cleared itself. The sensitivity is used to adjust the uh, turn on point uh, in the event you have a situation where you have blowing snow or snow dropping off of trees where you might want to increase the sensitivity because of false triggering. The mode switch is right here Right, By flipping the top switch here to on, you can increase the after run delay to six hours. The next switch down is the low temperature cutoff. The low temperature cutoff for our applications is set to off. Rain is set to off and snow should be set to on. Delay should also be turned on. So top switch should be off, LTC should be off, rain should be off. The only two that should be turned on is delay and snow. This connector is for the attachment of a remote sensor head kit. Do not attempt to make your own kit. We will supply it if you call us. This terminal block header is for the WZ AUX controller. This is where the five conductors from that remote control is attached. This is your power on indicator. When it's on continuously, the power has been applied. When it's blinking, the controller is trying to turn on the snow control system. This is your mode switch, your standby manual and automatic switch. Middle position is automatic. That is the position you'll normally leave it in. This is the moisture grid for the WZ8 snow controller. It has a heater, a moisture sensor built into it. It's remotable. You would mount it on a mineral lac clamp. Um, for example, on a fascia where the roof can drip on it or snow could get on it. 